At some point during your divorce in Texas, you're probably going to go to mediation. And one thing that happens is people will always ask me, can't I just go to mediation instead of having to go to court? And here's the thing, people can get it a little bit confused. So whenever you're thinking about getting divorced, I want you to think about being on a highway. Okay, and you have a starting point, which is filing the petition. You have an ending point. Ta-da, you're divorced. And along the way, you can take various detours or have different waypoints. And mediation is one of those waypoints. You know, think about like you're going through a toll thing, right, to keep going. Mediation is a place that you go um, to meet with the mediator. I mean, that kind of sounds obvious. But the you have you and your lawyer your spouse and their lawyer, and then the mediator. And one of the things people are always worried about is like, are we all gonna be in the same room? Like, I don't wanna have to talk to him or her or see them or whatever. And no, you're not gonna be in the same room. That's whether you're go doing it virtually or in person. Because the thing is, a lot of mediators now, thanks to COVID and the Zoom world of things, will do mediation virtually. And the way that would work is kind of the way it would work in person. So you enter a main room, like if you're either at the office or you're on the Zoom, and then the um, mediator or their staff will send you to your own room. Virtually, that's a breakout room. In real life, you go to an actual like conference room or somebody's office or something. And then what happens is a mediator goes between both parties, learning about their case, learning about the facts, learning about what's important to them, learning about what's important as it concerns the kids, the property, what they're trying to get out of this, and also evaluates the evidence. What are the facts? Hey, these are the facts on this side. These are the facts on that side. She's a bad mom because she works too much. He's a bad dad because he plays too many video games. I mean, whatever they're going to say about each other and evaluates the strengths and weaknesses of a case and uses that information to go from room to room, online or in person, okay? They're going back and forth and trying to give you some direction and advice, not like legal counsel advice, but, but their thoughts on whether what you're asking for is reasonable and whether it's reasonable or not, what it's gonna take to get you and your spouse to a settlement point. Now here's a key thing to keep in mind is the mediator is a neutral third party. They don't care whether you get more, he gets more, she gets less, the kids go over there for Easter or whatever, they don't care. Their number one goal is to help get you to that final destination of divorced. Now, when you get to mediation, the, the goal there is what's called a mediated settlement agreement or an MSA. So if your attorney talks about an MSA, you're gonna be like, I know what that is now, all right? So a mediated settlement agreement is a final binding uh, agreement between you and the spouse of what's gonna happen with your kids, your money, and your business. And there are no take backs. Like once you sign that MSA, that's it. No undo, no I thought about it, no I talked to my mama, my daddy, my sister, my best friend. I could have got a better deal. My lawyer actually stinks and they weren't really even on my side. That's not how it's gonna work. Once you sign that document, that is your deal in your divorce. After that, you have to write up a decree. There's like a lot of steps to finish it, but the deal has been made. And there is in fact, Texas Supreme Court precedent that says a deal is a deal from a good, a good friend of mine, attorney um, here in town, that's his case. And so you're gonna get an MSA and you can then start to breathe easier. All right, it's finished in terms of the material terms of your deal. So you've got this MSA from the mediation if you settle. Sometimes they don't settle. And that's when like, hey, that waypoint, you gotta keep going on the highway to get to the final divorce, which would likely involve trial going to court. So you see, mediation is a step along the way. It's not like this independent thing outside of the divorce process. The goal there is to get you divorced.